I'm going to show you how to port forward this Action Tech T3200 router. So if you have a MySQL server, like a database on your LAN, or a web server on your LAN, or a game server on your LAN, just anything you, any type of server that you want remote machines to have access to that's on your LAN, um, you're going to need a port forward for computers to access that server on your LAN. So to port forward this router, it's a pretty simple process, but the first thing you're going to want to do before we start is to write your admin password, which is in the bottom left down here. You're going to want to write that down because we're going to use that to log in. So in the search bar, you're going to want to type in 192.168.254.254. And that's just going to be the address that we're going to log into. So just hit enter. And here we're going to want to type in admin where it says username and then in the password um, field you're going to type in the admin password that you wrote down so now that we're logged in as admin we can go to firewall and then we can click here where it says port forwarding and here the device on our LAN that is hosting the server so right here we can just select the machine I'm on now and let's say we want to port forward port 8000 which is a port I use for Django for programming so we just put 8000 in all the fields and you're going to want to do either TCP or UDP so um, this is your choice so I'm just going to put both TCP and UDP and just hit apply and that's it it should be applied now and you should see that it's it's applied in the settings and it should work thanks for watching